Today marks the end of 2023, but a lot, when I say a lot, I meant a whole lot has happened in 2023. So sit back and relax as we cover noticeable events throughout 2023. On the 1st of January, Croatia replaced its national currency, the Kuna, with the Euro. On the 20th of January, Buzz Aldrin, the second man to set foot on the moon, married Anke Farr on his 93rd birthday, while in February, first to be precise. Legendary rock singer Ozzy Osbourne announced his retirement from touring. The 74-year-old had faced health complications for years, including a spine injury and a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. After a number of cancelled shows, he made the hard decision to quit touring to take care of his health. Get well soon. On the 6th of February, Turkey and Syria were struck by a catastrophic 7.8 magnitude earthquake that killed 59,259 people. Over the next three weeks, the region was hit with over 10,000 aftershocks. It was the deadliest earthquake in Turkey since 526, Ad and Syria since 1822. Things were not fun in February. On February 28, the FBI publicly confirmed that they believed COVID-19 originated in a lab in Wuhan, China. This concludes the noticeable events in February 2023. On March 14, open. AI released GPT-4, an upgraded version of their popular artificial intelligence chatbot. While others are delighted to hear about the upgrade to OpenAI Chat GPT on March 31, Italy banned the use of OpenAI's Chat GPT over data security concerns. Bummer, right? On the 3rd of April, NASA announced the astronauts for the first trip to the moon in over 50 years. Commander Reed Wiseman, mission specialist Jeremy Hansen, Flight engineer Christina Koch and pilot Victor J. Glover were chosen for Artemis II, a flyby mission to the moon. On the 20th of April, SpaceX's Starship rocket exploded four minutes into its first full flight test. The Starship rocket, the most powerful rocket ever built, is set to one day carry human colonists to Mars. Despite the explosion, SpaceX's engineers celebrated the launch as it provided invaluable data. On May 1st, Jeffrey Hinton, the godfather of AI, resigned from Google amidst growing concerns over AI. The so-called godfather, who gained his nickname for his pioneering work in the AI field, resigned to help spread the word about the dangers of the emerging technology. Do you think AI is dangerous? Let's know in the comments section. While on the 25th of May, the FDA gave Elon Musk the go-ahead to trial his Neuralink brain implants on humans. Would you try it? On June 16th, the rules for the Grammy Awards were updated to restrict AI-generated songs. The new rules clarified that songs that are fully generated by AI will not be considered for awards. Songs that are only partly written by AI and have meaningful human contributions are still allowed. On June 18th, Ocean Gate's Titan submersible imploded during an expedition to the wreck of the Titanic. All contact with the submersible was lost just one hour and 45 minutes after Titan dove below the surface. Four days later, Titan's wreckage was found about 1,600 feet, 500 meters from the Titanic. All five of the expedition's participants, including OceanGate CEO Paul Henry Nargile, perished. On the 22nd of July, Good Vibes Festival was cancelled after the 1975's lead singer kissed his bandmate on stage in protest of Malaysia's anti-LGBTQ laws. Malaysia is a Muslim-majority country where homosexual activity is criminalized. August 19, Russia's lunar 2000 lunar lander mission crash-landed on the moon. The mission was Roscosmos Russia's space agency, first attempt to send a spacecraft to the moon. The last Russian attempts occurred in the 70s under the Soviet space program. On the 23 of August, India became the fourth nation to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon. India followed in the footsteps of Russia, China, and the US with the touchdown of its Chandrayaan-3 moon lander. India's moon landing is quite different from all other landings, though as it was the first to land on the moon's unexplored South Pole. October 5, research into fossil footprints at White Sands National Park in New Mexico confirmed humans were in the Americas at least 21,000 years ago. According to former theories, the Americas was only populated about 15,000 years ago via the Bering Strait 
between modern-day Russia and Alaska. The new research used multiple methods to determine the footprint's age, with all results pointing to a date between 21,000 and 23,000 years ago. On the October 15, Microsoft purchased Activision Blizzard in a record-breaking $69 billion takeover. Microsoft's chief gaming executive announced that despite the takeover, gamers' favorite franchises would remain accessible to the usual platforms. On the 1st of November, Collins Dictionary announced AI as the most notable word in 2023. On the 6th of December, Taylor Swift was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. The famed pop singer and cultural icon was the first ever to win the prestigious award based on success in the arts. The award has traditionally been given to men, particularly those in traditional positions of power. That brings an end to this video from all of us at Quizzical Insights. We wish you a happy new year. Comment, like and subscribe.